Our country is blessed with rich natural resources, but sadly, we have repeatedly squandered these gifts. We are destroying nature's fragile treasures over time, but there is still a glimmer of hope. In this series, we take a look at various protected areas throughout the archipelago to learn the stories of the land, how it was once neglected and abused, and how it is slowly being renewed. This is Loren Legarda, and I present our Fragile Earth, Protected Areas of the Philippines. The Camotes group of islands is situated between Cebu and Leyte in the Visayas region. Its pristine coastlines and bountiful natural wonders have for a long time attracted visitors, including a growing community of expatriates in recent years. Its beauty belies the fact that each year, numerous typhoons threaten both nature and community. In November of 2013, Haiyan, one of the strongest typhoons recorded in history, flattened towns and cities in central Philippines. While thousands perished in eastern Visayas during the wrath of Typhoon Haiyan, the residents of this small island chain survived, achieving what seemed to be the impossible. One vital protection of the island is the vast mangrove swamp forest that covers the coastlines of Camotes. With the mangroves as buffers, the towns within the island chain experienced minimal damage from the storm surge. How devastating Typhoon Yolanda is, but when you talk about uh, the, the coastal areas in Camotes, Pilar, it's not so much damage because of the buffer and the buffer are the mangroves. We try to educate uh, the people that the mangroves can protect from us from storm surge. That's one good example. No? And of course, it's also a breeding ground of our marine resources. So the whole island of Camotes, which is uh, composed of uh, four municipalities, uh, Pilar, Tordela, Oro, and San Francisco, uh, which is around uh, 23,000 hectares. In our case, in Tordela, we have 113 hectares of mangrove. By virtue of Presidential Proclamation Number 2152, declaring the whole island of Camotes as swamp and mangrove reserve. Over time and through experience, the residents of Camotes have learned to effectively prepare for potential disasters by conducting regular risk assessments. The level of uh, awareness of the people is high. Of course, through education. We have this kind of system that uh, we were able to disseminate information, educate our people. The Porok system. The Porok system. With the objective of bringing education to the masses until barangays were formed and became the smallest political unit in the country. In 2004, then Mayor Alfredo Arquiliano Jr of the Municipality of San Francisco in Camotes revived this system of community organization. Under Arquiliano's leadership, the Municipality of San Francisco received the prestigious United Nations Sasakawa Award for Disaster Risk Reduction in 2011. Porok system is a kind of governance in the sub-village level. And uh, there have seats of officers, and they are voluntary. And uh, because of this, you have these regular meetings, so we have now the avenue to educate our people and disseminate information. When the island's tree-lined avenues were filled with garbage, Arquiliano encouraged Juan Purok to solve its own solid waste problem. Malaking na itulong to sa mga tao dito kasi nabawasan yung mga sakit galing sa basura. Kasi kapag hindi tayo mag-manage ang basura, maraming mga health hazard, lalong-lalo na sa mga kabataan natin. Inspired by this transformation, other Puroks followed from the success of their ecological solid waste management system. The Puroks worked together on other projects. 
ito itong uh, nursery namin sa Tumilion Trees at saka mayroon kaming uh, iba-ibang klase ng kahoy dito. Uh, itong mga alaman na to ay, ay tatanim sa iba-ibang area para maputiktahan natin yung ating uh, tubig. Isa rin nakakatulong tayo sa ano natin sa ating uh, environment. In Barangay Esperanza, in the municipality of Pilar, we met residents who were gathered. They were listening to their leader as he discussed policies on improving the quality of living in their community. Evidently, they are engaged in ensuring that policies are effectively carried out. Pag kumpara sa mga kabalayan nga naa sa atubangan sa mga mangrove areas o sa mga kabalayan nga wala gay mangrove. So, we are beginning to be self-reliant and of course they need also the support of the government to give them uh, support in the livelihood programs like for example in agriculture, in the tourism sector. So in every tourism activities we try to see to it that uh, the community can benefit. I think we have to protect our environment to make it a tourism program sustainable. We need to be vigilant in protecting our fragile environment as nature can also shield us from natural hazards. With preparedness, knowledge, and strong political will, future communities would still be blessed with a healthy environment. It's good that uh, may naupisahan lang tayo to continue enhancing it to achieve sustainable kind of development. Our island is our home. At the same time, it is our paradise. The challenge at hand is to do more and to do better in disaster prevention and risk reduction. With a clear vision, strong leadership, and empowered residents, the communities in Camotes can be at the forefront of building a safer, more resilient, and sustainable nation.